Welcome back, first timers. But if you're new here, I'm David. And this is Terry. We're the first timers. We're trying things for the first time, and you can too. Okay. Today's episode, we're down at Pier Park in Panama City Beach, Florida. We're gonna walk the pier, show you around some shops, get on the Ferris wheel, sky wheel. We've got a whole day planned for you and just a little bit of time to do it. We're kind of dodging storms right now, so we're gonna try and hit this quick, show you around before we get soaked. It's 1,500 feet long, $7 for fishing, $4 just to walk the pier. $3 for military, active, or retired, and $3 for anybody that is disabled. Now, the pier is open 365 days a year, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. You can fish off the pier, but you're limited to three fishing poles per fisherman, which seems like quite a bit of fishing poles. So like some of the other piers we've gone on, there's some, some wear and tear on the, the wood planks, but it looks like they're also doing some renovations here, uh, like the one in Pensacola Beach, where they were replacing a lot of wood. We'll actually link that Pensacola Beach video here in case you're interested in watching that one as well. So this pier is really active with fishing. Much like the time we were at the Navarre Pier where people were pulling out fish left and right, this is another case of that. There's a lot of fishing going on and a lot of catching. Yeah big fish, little fish, all over the place. No turtles this time, but... That's a good thing. If you like to fish, this might be the place for you because it's it's busy, but there's still still space available for other people to fish, and we're, we're here on the weekend, but everybody seems to be doing pretty well with fishing. Yeah. There are just fish, like, flopping all over the, the pier right now. <laughs> on to the next stop. This is a hustling and bustling area. There's a lot of traffic, so if you're crossing the streets, pay attention to the crosswalks, the, the signals and everything. There's a- Just be careful. A lot of commotion going on. But uh, Terry, tell us about where we're at. So we're at Pier Park. It's right across the street from the, the actual pier. Um, and there's 123 stores. Wow. Stores, restaurants, um, I mean, they got a Target, a JCPenney, you name it, they probably got it here. We got a Dick's Last Resort over here if you want to get made fun of. So if you want food <laughs> while being belittled, if that's your thing, that's your place. They also have uh, restaurants like Papano Joe's and Margaritaville. Well, like I said, a lot of commotion going on, a lot of revelry and shenanigans. So we're going to keep walking and keep exploring. If you want to feel like you're in Nashville, come to Tootsie's Orchid Lounge. Really busy and there's a lot going on but there's places for the kids like Build-A-Bear or Dave & Buster's. There's ice cream places, snack places. Axe throwing. I mean bounce houses, escape rooms, all that kind of stuff. I mean this is a good place for you know kids, families. There's a lot going on but it looks like the nightlife will go off really hard here too. Yeah. I mean there's a lot of bars, a lot of restaurants but it seems like people are starting to have a pretty good time already and it's, it's still only just, like 4.35 o'clock. So, so we're here at the Sky Wheel and Terry knows the price. Tickets are $18.99 for adults, $14.99 for children. There's also a VIP package that you can purchase, uh, up to four people in your pod. Um, and I think that includes a uh, photo. And how long does it last? Uh, the regular price gets you to go around four times and I believe the VIP you go around 10 times. Wow, okay. Well, let's see if it's worth it. Up we go. All right, so the Sky Wheel is 200 feet tall. It has 30 gondolas. It was opened in September of 2018. It says it can fit six people in each gondola, but I'll tell you what, it's pretty cramped. Yeah, if you've been to Las Vegas and have gone on the high roller at the Lynx, that one's 550 feet tall and it accommodates 28 gondolas but they're significantly bigger. You can walk around a bar area in some of them. So this one's a lot smaller. With the buildings being so low here, it makes it seem so much higher because you are on 
you know, on par yeah. with the high-rise condos here. Your park is really kind of a self-contained area in Panama City Beach. There's bars, restaurants, stores, hotels, condos, pretty much everything you need right in one local walkable area. Well, we had to get out of that hustle and bustle going on at the Pier Park. It just was getting a little too, too a little too wild for us. So we kind of bounced around looking for a restaurant to eat at, but just be prepared. The parking is brutal down in Panama City Beach where all the, the hotels and condos are. It's hard to find spots. And if you do find a spot, you're you know blocks and blocks and blocks away from places you're trying to go. So uh, we're on the outskirts of Panama City Beach, real close to St. Andrews State Park where we're staying for the weekend. And we're going to try Patches Pub and Grill, which is known for having the best wings and burgers in all Panama City Beach. We uh, weren't able to get a table because it is so busy uh, at this place. People seem to really love it. It's veteran owned, it's a small local restaurant. They have different food and drink specials every single day and live music every single day. Today, Saturday, it happens to be $12 one topping pizza and people are clamoring for that. It's an hour and a half wait for pizza. So we went with the wings and the burgers, which they're also known for. So, and those, that's not gonna take as long. But pretty much every seat in the house is filled one or two times over. So if you're coming here, just know that it is a very popular place. And like I said, it's outside of the touristy area, so it's more of a local feel. The uh, people in here are so nice. Yeah, very friendly, very accommodating. Now, uh, they have over 30 beers on tap. If you like beer, we don't, so we don't really get to partake in that. But pizza, wings, burgers, but then they also have, you know, fish, sandwiches, tacos queso dip so we, we got a couple of things here and there that we're gonna try and just give it the ones over but from what we can tell they also pour very heavy they are not shy with the alcohol drinks and actually everything was relatively inexpensive especially being so close to a tourist area it's hard to find reasonably priced food and drinks we'll see when the food gets here pro tip if it's packed inside and outside come out to the front and sit at your little single tables and just order your food to go we took the food to go and we're gonna eat at the campsite. We are so starving that we're just gonna cut right to it. Sorry, you're gonna miss out. So the food was so much better than we ever anticipated. If you're in this area and you're trying to avoid the touristy areas and the tourist traps, make sure you check out Patch's Pub because they know what they're doing. They can pour a drink, they can make some food, and they got live music playing. Uh, thanks again for following along this episode, and join us next time when we do something else new for the first time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. First timers. High five. We'll see you next time.